let's take a look at the effect of unions on two different industries, manufacturing and service. We're supposing initially that neither is unionized. So you can see their equilibrium quantities and wages as they're depicted right here. But let's suppose now that the manufacturing industry unionizes. So what typically happens when markets, when labor markets unionize, is that the wages increase. This is going to have a similar effect as a minimum wage here. So within the manufacturing industry, our wage is going to increase from W note to W1. And we're going to see this difference now in the quantity supplied and the quantity demanded of labor. Our quantity supplied is going to be much greater than that quantity demanded. As a result, we're going to have this surplus of labor or shortage of, empl of employment, however you want to want to say it in the manufacturing industry. So this is really just this new level of unemployment. As a result of this, a lot of these people who are currently unemployed within the manufacturing industry may switch to the service industry to find work. When they do that, what we see is that the supply of labor within the service industry is going to increase. So our supply curve is going to shift from S note to S1, giving us a new equilibrium value here where all of a sudden our quantity is greater in the service industry and wages are going to be lower in the service industry.